Happy birthday to oh, us. Oh, you want to see? Okay, never mind. <laughs> You're probably wondering how we ended up here, above the clouds, with the birthday cake. So let's go back to the very beginning. It's kind of funny how I used to think that in my 30s, I would have life completely figured out. By now, in my mind, I would know exactly who I am and I would have all the boxes checked for what happiness is supposed to look like. Big house, marriage, kids, a dog, and <laughs> maybe a cat. Things obviously don't look like that now. And in reality, I have to say that at times, being in my mid-30s kind of sucks. It seems like for the past two years, things have gotten pretty serious and we haven't had a lot of fun. Yeah, we've been going through so many changes and we've been doing all this inner work and we don't give ourselves much of a break. And we don't allow ourselves to just let it go and really be careless and have fun. I, I think the last time that happened, we were in Maine during a snowstorm and someone asked us like, where are your snowball fights? And have reminded us that, oh yeah, we should go have a snowball fight. That's cold. <laughs> okay, Ooh. I think I won that one. Which I won. What? <laughs> I won. No, I, I, totally lost. I lost. I lost. I lost. You know I won. <laughs> look at you. Look at me. Yeah, look at you. <laughs> yeah. But things have been so serious that this week we realized that we don't even remember what we did for our birthdays this year. We were probably in just some hotel. A cheap one. Yeah. A very bad one. Not doing anything. There's some creepy people on the wall. It does look like a horror movie. I think you booked it. You booked a hotel, like a horror room, <laughs> no, right? No, I did not. Yeah, we didn't celebrate it, and we feel bad about it. It's like we've been neglecting ourselves. Well, I've actually never been a birthday person. I have like this vivid memory of me. I was probably turning three or four years old. My parents, they threw me a birthday party. All the family and friends, they were at our house. When it was time for them to sing happy birthday to me, I remember feeling so scared, feeling kind of threatened. Instead of blowing out the candles, I ended up hiding under the table. And my mom had to get me out of there to blow out the candles. So it, it was actually very hard for me to have fun, even as a kid. And I think I really started really having fun with birthdays and it, with life in general uh, when I turned 21. And I feel like that went until 35. And 35, things started happening, things got complicated, and things got serious again. So this is where we're different, because as a kid, my younger sister and I, we would share our birthday parties. I was pretty outgoing as a kid. Um, I remember 
we did like this magic show and I went up and did a magic show for like my friends for my birthday. We would go to like Skate World. I had a lot of fun as a kid. I love birthday parties because I'm a Leo and kind of like the spotlight. But I think when it was like, I don't know, 12, 13, 14, that's when the fun left and life started. We need to change that. So we came up with this little experiment and we're gonna throw ourselves a birthday party like we were kids again. Yeah, and even though our birthdays were like over two months ago, we still wanna create a cool memory. And so we can look back to it. We're gonna throw little Bernardo and little Adam a big birthday party and be kids again and have fun. I don't think it's gonna be big, but I think it's gonna be fun. So it's just gonna be the two of us, the two of us. <laughs> Dinosaurs. Got the, the party hat. Okay. But I don't know. Oh, can be one of these. Well, we can use man. this one. Yeah. Okay. Do you want a Ninja Turtle pinata? A dinosaur pinata? They have dinosaurs? There's a, there's a boat. Let's get the dinosaur one. Kind of big, right? Yeah, it's a big one. Got it? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Cool one. <laughs> oh, this is a pretty one. This is a nice one. This can be. a nice one. Yeah. It's good. I mean, this is good. It's good. I like it. <laughs> okay. It's good. Okay. Okay, we're looking for a bear spray. I think we're gonna need it. It's just a loud Wait. noise? No, it's yeah, like it's, um, it's really like loud. OC, like pepper spray, but on steroids. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah, we, yeah. we don't even know how to use it, but I think we're gonna <laughs> need it. <laughs> Hopefully you don't need to use it. Well, there goes my back. Oh my gosh, I'm just kidding. Just out here exploring the woods. That's what I would do when I was little. Yeah, because we have woods. You did? Yeah. Big like this? What? Big like this? No, not like a trail, but there was like a railroad. With bears? No, not with bears. In Florida. <laughs> Well, I guess Florida has bears, right? With alligators. Yeah. It's cool. This is Rock, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. Cool. Rock, Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> I win. I cut the rock. <laughs> okay, you go first. You go first. Sometimes our biggest mistake is to believe every single thought our minds throw at us. Lately, our minds have been tricking us into believing that joy and laughter were somewhere distant. 
when in reality, all we needed was a simple dinosaur oh, pinata. That was one shot. A place where we felt safe. Two. And most of all, each other. Go. No, no, no. You did. <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> That's how you do it. I, I made it look so that you can do it. finding cooking to be quite meditative these days. I have to say my favorite thing to do is chopping. I don't think I'm the only one who likes that. This is why we're beyond excited to be working with Hus, who is a sponsor of this video. It is the ultimate cooking knife for the kitchen or when we're camping. Husk is inspired by centuries old Japanese knife making traditions, which means the quality of the knife is phenomenal. It features an index finger hole for better handling. That's a big plus for me, which makes cutting and chopping much smoother and easier. And the blade is composed of high quality stainless steel, ensuring a sharp quality knife for years to come. Now it takes me half the time to cut things compared to our older knife. Oh, no. <laughs> it's worth it to make this investment because it's the only knife you're gonna need. If you're interested in checking them out, Husk is running a 70% discount on their authentic Japanese inspired knives. You can even test the Husk knife out with a 30 day money back guarantee. This deal is not gonna last long, so make sure you check it out by clicking our special link in our bio. Yes, I'm in love with you. Yay, yay, baby, say you love me too. Thank you for this event, especially when you're hungry because we only had breakfast and it's dinner time. And it smells like garlic, <laughs> milk, <laughs> some accidents happen also when you're camping. 
that's, that's grease on another. We have grease on all of our white shirts now, the only two that we have. Thank goodness it was him that moved. <laughs> Mm. I love watermelon. When you eat it as a kid? Yeah. Me too. This is like the typical childhood fruit, I think. And it's cut just like this. Yeah. I love it. Oh, it's good for camping too. Mm. Reading the instructions for the bear spray. If you have not used this product before, you should obtain a training can and practice with it until you can perform these activities quickly and accurately. Maybe we should just train using it on each other. <laughs> it's kind of scary. I'm going to keep the bear spray with me the whole time. That's why you're in front. Guatemala, oh. like the volcano one. This was one of the reasons why I kind of thought twice about this one. We did that one. We can definitely do this one. It's not like that, right? Oh no! Thank you, Jesus. This is like <laughs> it's a piece of cake. Yeah. Okay, good. My only concern really is the bears and don't, the cougars. Don't worry, sweetie, and... I got it. <laughs> hey, watch out! <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna spray that out of me. <laughs> then you're gonna. Okay. Well, it's not so easy. We have 40 more minutes until the sunrise. Mm -hmm. I think we can get there. Adam, Adam, hold. You can't fall here. I'm good. Happy yes. birthday to us. Happy birthday. We're almost there. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. This is it. 
We're above the clouds. <laughs> In the name of Jesus. <laughs> We're the only ones. <laughs> now we're gonna remember. <laughs> For sure. Maybe life in the mid 30s doesn't really suck after all. I might not have a big house kids, a dog or a cat, but I do have a very special person by my side. Happy birthday to us. Oh, you want to sing? Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. With whom I share some really cool and unique experiences. Happy birthday. birthday. Take us a little plus there. We're glad you made it this way. But the sun will rise again tomorrow Guess we're gonna remember this one Maybe one of the biggest lessons I've learned in the past couple of years is that I get to decide what my own version of happiness looks like This version might change over time but at this very moment, to me happiness looks exactly like this <laughs> 